What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, man. I want to say thank all y'all who've been supporting the page, man. I appreciate it. Y'all been hitting on my cash app, Carcino. I love it. You know, that y'all show support to the page and everything, man. I appreciate it. So, you know, I didn't want think want y'all to think I forgot about Prince Marky D. I just wanted to have time to sit down and talk about him. Um, Prince Marky D of the Fat Boys was like, I want to say they were the first of their kind in this industry. Like, people saw them as a gimmick, a joke, and no one would give them the chance. They were the Disco 3 at first because... Like, they was just thought they were never going to blow up. They didn't think they were ever going to be famous. You know, it wasn't like in Crush Groove. In the Crush Groove, they were like, come on, man, don't you want to be stars? They were making records for their homeboys. That's it. They were making tapes. You know, they from Brooklyn. You know, they was on to make sure they put Brooklyn on the map, you know, for they block and rep they block and sort of, Block can hear them and know they nice. And that was enough for them. They were kids. So, as they name changed over to the Fat Boys and all of these things, uh, you got to notice them more. It's like the Fat Boys, yeah, they fat. You know, that was the obvious. But they owned it. You know, that was just... Before anybody was calling themselves Fat Tony, Fat Rob, and all this, the Fat Boys, like, owned it. You know, like, they made it, like, cool to be big and fly. You know, I was like, man, that was just amazing what they were able to pull off with that. You know, the confidence on the microphone with Prince Marky D. He was probably one of the most confident rappers on stage or anywhere. When he grabbed a microphone, he was super confident. It was like he was Superman once he grabbed a mic and ripped. His confidence was through the roof. And that's what Curtis Blow saw. And once he saw that, he knew Prince Markey is the real deal. He was the engine, you know, the in front of it. No one said, like, he's the leader of the Fat Boys. But Prince Markey was the one that was going to stand out. His personality, his voice, he was loud. Still had that little kid smile to this day, you know. He was just a big kid. You know, he passed away at 52 years of age. And... It was from heart disease, so we all got to start watching what we eat, especially now in these times where it's a lot of stuff going on, man, a lot of stuff that we're not privy to, and we're learning about it through news, and it's not exactly what they're telling us, so we definitely have to pay attention to our diet, um, take more vitamins, drink more water, you know, we got to start getting serious about our health because it's not looking good out here now as to Prince Markey I mean his mom got to be at his side before he passed you know she flew out there to see him and His health just deteriorated really fast. Now, from all of these different things that's transact that, that transisted in this in the industry, I always remember him for being one of the ones who went into the producing side early. You know, because Curtis Bow was producing the records and Prince Markey kind of learned from being around him and 
seeing how it was being done to the fact that he realized like I don't have to rap I didn't know I just found out recently that they had a three move a three picture deal when they did disorderlies um, they had a, a what was the second one called fats like fat school or something like that or something like that but they had like they had written a script and everything but he had left the group the fat boys had split up and he was done at that time so they never got a chance to really uh, you know fulfill the rest of the two movies that they had in the contract I remember this girl I dated, Disorder Lease was her favorite movie. She loved that movie. Man, I don't want to think about her. Now, <laughs> I was just sitting here thinking about her and what happened. Oh, God, I don't want to go down that road. Now, everybody remembers uh, Pepper having a child with him, Prince Marky D. But he's always been a ladies' man. Like, the ladies loved him. You couldn't find no women that didn't like to be around him. He was confident. If you're confident, women love confidence. If you aren't sure, why the world she gonna be sure about you? If you ain't sure about yourself, confidence, that's what's gonna get the win. Women love a confident man. They want to be around that energy. So, you know, he was very creative, uh, very inspiring he inspired a lot of artists you know to reach out and you know get to their goals you know he's worked with some of the best in the business um, Miami he was on the radio you know and doing his thing man I mean he made more on the other end of the business than ever being in a group. That's crazy. He didn't realize, and it's like nobody was teaching artists at that time, like they could sign other artists. You know, that stuff, like they were figuring that stuff out on the fly. So, the more they started to get hip to it, you know, the more, uh, you know, the more things changed, you know, and the Fat Boys kind of was becoming a novelty, and, you know, he was like, I don't want to do this no more, you know, I, I want to be taken seriously, so he put out his album free, and it's a dope album. Like, it's nice, but it wasn't going to stand out. But that was just him just letting the world know I, I'm free to be me, you know, just an MC. You know, and I don't have to be a, just a fat boy and, you know, and make silly raps all the time. You know, I'm just, I'm free now. So... I mean, he's legendary. You know, the fat boys are legendary. So, they'll never be forgotten in hip-hop history. Kurowski, I think he's the last one left, man. But Buff left with heart problems. marky has been battling health issues, you know, uh, for a while. And, you know, these type of things happen when you you know, not taking care of yourself. So, we all have to, me included. You know, we got to cut down on all these sugary, you know, products and start looking into our health a lot more, you know, so.
God bless his family and all the people that loved him. And everybody, you know, be thankful that you're here another day. Nothing is guaranteed in this world. Nothing. I'm out.